Welcome back. Central Coast native Herm Edwards held his annual football camp this weekend. More than 400 kids from the area came out to work with the former Kansas City Chiefs coach. The free camp is open for kids age 9 to 17 and is Edwards' way of giving back to the community he grew up in. The Monterey High grad was recently let go from the Chiefs, but it's on to a new chapter of his life. Edwards has joined ESPN as an NFL analyst. I'm enjoying it, to be quite honest. It's a good break. Will I ever get back into coaching? I don't know yet, but I, I won't say no because there, there might be an opportunity we just can't turn down. But right now, I'm enjoying being an analyst. Uh, the hardest thing I have to do now is uh, I argue with my wife about what tie to wear. <laughs> Edwards has plans to move his family back near the Central Coast soon and also coaching at this year's Camp Chiefs tight end Tony Curtis from Seaside and Scott Fachita of the New Orleans Saints. And it was not to be for budding Central Coast golf star Mina Harrogate this weekend on her march toward the LPGA Tour. Harrogate tied for fourth today in the final round of the Horseshoe Casino Classic in Hammond, Indiana. After firing a 65 on Friday, she ended up with a 79 today. Harrogate is still ranked among the top five on the Futures Tour money list. The Corona Wide Open Beach Volleyball Tournament wrapped up today in Santa Cruz. Brady Halverson and John Mesco captured the men's Open Division title qualifying for September's U.S. Open at Manhattan Beach. The Santa Cruz team of Arthur Mueller and Jesse Banazic won the men's Double A Division. Santa Cruz was the fourth stop on the tour. Up next, the beautiful beaches of Santa Monica. And a historic day in NASCAR Sprint Cup Series teenage phenom Joey Logano became the youngest winner of in history of Sprint Cup Series, winning today at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. On lap 171 off the restart, there was a pretty big multi-car crash right there. Martin Truex Jr. gets loose and collides with Jeff Burton. Tony Stewart nabbed the lead on lap 196, but it is 19-year-old rookie Joey Logano that claims today's victory. He grabbed the lead on lap 226, and after a rain delay, the race was called with Logano as the winner. Jeff Gordon came in second and Kurt Busch in third. In Major League Baseball, the A's woes continue. The Rockies won today 3-1. to one. The A's are now 5-13 and 13 in interleague play, their worst performance against the National League. The Giants avoided a three-game sweep with their win over the Brewers this afternoon. Ryan Sadowski had his first Major League win, pitching six scoreless innings and helping the Giants to a 7-0 shutout over Milwaukee. Two weeks ago, few people thought the Confederations Cup would come down to Team USA and World Soccer Powerhouse Brazil. But the Americans, well, they just kept winning and today faced Brazil for the title. It was looking good early for the U.S. who led 2-0 in halftime thanks to goals by Clint Dempsey and Landon Donovan. The Americans who played in their first FIFA final were outscored in the second half, though. Luis Fabiano was not going down without a fight. He had a great comeback goal in the 46th minute and tied the game at two with a second goal in the 74th. And to give Brazil its second straight Confederations Cup title, Lucio scored the game-winning goal. Brazil wins 3-2. to two. And, you know, it was awesome out there with Herm Edwards today. And I have oh, to yeah. say, welcome to the biz, Herm. And I think it's pretty cute that uh, his wife's kind of nagging him already about the ties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, you got to have a good tie collection now. Of Mark's got to go out. But you've been in the business a while, so he's got to start building them up. And this was your first interview with really a former or current NFL, NFL coach. NFL coach, yeah. So it was really exciting. Pretty cool. I had a good day. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs>